Welcome to the Business Blast Podcast. I'm your host, Tyler Wagner. This episode is brought to you by Authors Unite. Authors Unite provides you with all the resources you need to become a successful author. You can learn more about Authors Unite and join the free community at authorsunite.com. Now, let's jump into the episode. All right, everyone, welcome back to another episode of the Business Blast podcast. I'm your host, Tyler Wagner. Today, I have Rasham Moga with us. She is an author, speaker, and women in tech evangelist in her current role as Senior Director of Product Management at Oracle Cloud Infrastructure. She leads the customer enablement strategy through training and certification. So welcome to the show. Thank you, Tyler. Excited to be on the podcast. Of course. Thank you for joining us. We appreciate it. We'll dive into the first one. The first question I have for you today is, what is the best story from your life that has an underlying valuable message? So that's a very interesting question. Uh, About 13 years ago, I actually ran away from an arranged marriage. I moved countries from India to United States because I wanted to make my own decisions and carve out a path for myself. And it wasn't an easy decision, and it took a couple of years. I had to strategically plan the move, but I never thought about giving in or letting go of of my goal of moving out of the country and moving out of the situation. Um, I leveraged my network and the sponsors in the company that I was working with to transfer me into the U.S. And uh, I truly believe that most of I battles are won and lost in the mind. So that's the valuable message from this story. Hmm. And what is the most valuable piece of information we should know that's within your expertise or industry? So coming from a cloud computing background and training background, my advice is to focus on continuous learning. Continue to invest in yourself. Because with the speed at which the innovation is happening on all fronts, The job responsibilities are continuously evolving. You can never know everything about a job role. So my advice would be continue on upskilling yourself and not just investing in the skills for your current role, but also skills for your next role. And what's your best piece of overall business advice? So not necessarily industry specific. My advice would be to focus on identifying your superpower. What is that one thing that sets you apart from others? And why should somebody hire you for a job? And I talk about this in my upcoming book for coaching leaders as well. Um, You know, we all have superpowers. The key is to identify what it is, how to hone it, and then to leverage it as you start creating your personal brand. Mm, I love that. And if you could give your younger self one piece of advice, what would that be? My advice to myself would be to have fun, to take risks and try out new things. When I was at school, I was told that if you study hard, get good grades, get into a good college and then get a good job, you're set for life. Well, that's not true. Mm -hmm. We live in a volatile, unpredictable and ambiguous corporate environment and you're never set for life really. So make sure that you have fun in whatever you do. And uh, leads into the next one. In your opinion, what is the key to happiness? The key to happiness is to realize that you are responsible for your happiness and not giving the key to your happiness to somebody else. Realizing that happiness is not an event, but a state of not having anything to worry about. And when we tie our happiness to milestones and job titles and paychecks and people, we essentially miss on an opportunity to be happy in the present moment. And what is the best book that you've read and what was the number one thing you learned from that? It's actually a book on mindful leadership called Finding Space to Lead. And uh, what I learned from it, one key takeaway for me was the importance of practicing a purposeful pause. If you're working in an autopilot mode in the busyness of the day, the dust in your mind never settles. And if that dust never settles, you're not focused enough to be able to make good decisions, which are important for a leader. And what is your favorite quote and why? It's a quote by Bert Schuller, which is, tough times don't last, tough people do. And this quote kind of embodies so many leadership qualities in it. Courage, optimism, resilience. 
So I love this quote. I love it. Thank you so much for coming on. The uh, last question I have for you before we let you go is where is the best place for people to find you online? So people can connect with me on my website, rashimoga.com, and read more about how to prepare for their leadership career in my upcoming book. They can also follow me on Twitter. My Twitter handle is rmoga or connect with me on LinkedIn. Perfect. Thank you again for joining us. We appreciate it. Thank you so much, Tyler. The podcast you just heard was published with Anchor. Got something you want to say to the creator of this show? Send them a voice message using the Anchor app, free for iOS and Android.